Hello. Uh, what I would show you today um, is potting up the tomatillos. They've been growing incredibly well. This one is absolutely huge. Uh, some of them are, are, are slightly smaller. Um, they've been growing very, very well um, here in the greenhouse, um, but now they are at the point where they need to be potted up. Um, I suggest that you put them in your individual pots when they're, these are actually a little bit too tall, but I've been so, so busy with one thing and another. Um, I, I would suggest potting them up when they're just a little bit smaller than this, um, but if they do get to this size, then don't worry. Um, about three inches two three inches tall um, when they're big enough to handle then put them uh, in their individual pots but if they do get too tall don't worry um, we will uh, we will do them now um, and I will show you how to do them it's all very very easy okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put them in uh, individual one plant in a three inch pot okay so just fill your three inch pot up just with normal multi-purpose compost okay just give it a gentle pat down but not too hard and then we need to try and prise these apart from each other so let's tip them all out they should oh and they do they have a lovely root system underneath there so what we're going to do is we're going to split these up okay very carefully Ooh, there we are. If you do break a few of the roots, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you don't break the stem um, and any of sort of the main roots. But if they're the little ones at the end, then it's okay. Okay. So take one off. Okay. And then all you need to do is to make a nice hole in the middle. If you do find like some of mine, they have got quite big. What I would suggest you do with the three-inch pot is to put a little bit of compost in the bottom, then put the big one in and then just sort of backfill it with compost. So push it down and push it down so it's at the level of um, just that the, the first leaves are just above the compost, okay? These are like the little baby leaves. And then just fill any little space back round like that, okay? So that's that one done, and I will do the rest uh, in a minute. Right, now once you've done them all, uh, protect them from uh, slugs and snails because they will like to nibble these. And then just, uh, if you've got a greenhouse, keep them in the greenhouse. They don't like the cold weather, they don't like frost. So you could start to introduce them outside during the day but if it's going to be cold or it's going to be windy then I suggest you keep them under some protection. Uh, don't leave them out during the night until all um, worries of frost has gone in your area because the frost will kill the leaves and the plant and um, then you won't get any fruit which would be such a shame. Um, but I will leave these in their little three inch pots for about another month and then plant them out um, any time from the beginning of June because for me that's when uh, we won't get any frosts um, so hopefully they'll be quite a lot bigger because the days now are getting nice and warm because we're now in May um, and uh, hopefully they'll be nice and substantial uh, when I put them outside but I will show you that point uh, when I do it um, and you can see how they get on so I'll just carry on doing the rest of them uh, as we say, some are a little larger than the others. There's a very tiny one there, which I don't think I'll worry about because it's only about that tall. Um, and I've got plenty of others here. I've got about eight altogether. Well, I hope you found that useful and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.